UVW mapping is actually a really complicated thing to do. However, here's some things you should consider when mapping a model. Try to separate your model in half and only texture half of it at a time. Then I'd make a UVW map based on this half texture and then that's when I'd actually bring it over to Photoshop. One of the things that I'm doing is actually using a texture that already exists, just for this example. But what I'm going to actually be doing is using the Puppet tool to adjust the texture so that it works with the UVW map that I've created. Otherwise, you can actually create the texture yourself based on the UVW map you have made. So this is why the Puppet tool in Photoshop is actually really good. You can put down points that you want to stretch or move around and still keep a pretty consistent quality on the texture. So any existing texture that exists, you can pretty much kind of stretch it and move it around to make it fit within your UVW mapping. And then what I'm actually doing here is using the seams on the edge of the pants to separate the front and the back. So I like to always keep some kind of consistent edge so that I can see the difference between what's front and back or to kind of make texturing a little more of a seamless process versus matching up uh, pixels and whatnot. So as you can see here, after I've applied the texture to the UVW map, it actually fits pretty well. So hopefully this will help some of you out there.